quick update. We are going to be finishing, in quotes, uh, the Hermitcraft worlds one by one. And by that I mean whenever they come out we'll like finish them. And whenever I say finish put that in quotes too. <laughs> Cause uh, by finishing I mean like cleaning up the area. It seems like a bit of a so I probably won't be doing too much building. But it's mainly cleaning up the areas, maybe making some like uh, like a, maybe like a pillar or something like that over here, or like a cool viewpoint or something like that. Stuff like that, just small little things. Um, I don't have many goals. Um, but the goals I do have are basically kind of like, I want to make a map room. I haven't figured that one just out yet. I haven't decided if I'm gonna make a basement he area here or if I'm gonna make like a second egg. I think a second egg would be cooler, but the building tools are not the greatest. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I think this would be just a nice little fun casual series. See how much my computer can handle. The real question is, can my computer uh, handle Bodum? <laughs> I'm not going to test that out right now, but I'm just going to work on the spawn area for today, and maybe for the foreseeable future we're just going to work on the spawn area. By foreseeable future, I mean whenever, until whenever I get this area done. I'm not going to worry about this area that much, because it's like a it's like a nice place for it. The slime spawn. Why did I turn off? Mob spawning. I feel like I shouldn't turn off mob spawning because I feel like that would bait stuff. But stuff like this, I might like be like, uh, be like, oh yeah, I want to do some berry swap kind of stuff. Stuff like that. Simple stuff. Clean up the areas, finish it off. That's what I've been planning to do. Um, and also update these maps because, uh, yeah. This is the after version. I have to go quite a far in order for it to fully update. And when it's fully updated, it's a big change. Now let's look at the map. Look how different the map looks. Yeah. As you can see, it's a pretty big difference. So, the cool thing is that the textures are still like here, like. This kind of stuff is still working. Stream over. anyone's really going to care that much about. Turned out. At 
each of these torches. Mm. There's other ways of mob proofing that. What other kind of ways? I'll just put buttons everywhere. Texturing. Texturing. This definitely won't look uh, like a monstrosity and a half. Hmm. I need more buttons in this game. Like, what if he had like sandstone buttons? That would look really cool. I'm sure there's a mod for this stuff like that, like just add in more buttons and stuff. I know there's stuff for like brush plates. The buttons are good texturing. And also block mouse spawns. Also, I think one of the reasons I should do this series is that I can improve my building skills. This, uh, one, follow this Hermitcraft 8 probably won't, like, honestly last as long as other seasons would last, for obvious reasons. Um, because <laughs> there's just not as much going on, like, not as much to do. But I'm sure this whole series will last for a while before I have to do another thing. Need pellets in this actually. Oh, wait, no. actually looks kind of cool with all the buttons on it. I feel like you should what we should have like oh, like a little thing there. Or is that too pointy? Maybe a slab. Slab looks nice there. It kind of gives a little bit of a peak, which is very hard to not just make it a peak in Minecraft. It's very hard to not make peaks um, and try to make things somewhat round. But I think uh, they did a really good job on this. Yeah, the zombies are going to be a. <laughs> installed OptiFine, but then actually didn't put it on. <laughs> I'm an idiot, none of it. I thought I put it on because I was in more settings. But apparently not. See, I would have put on like vanilla tweaks texture pack. But it lags quite a bit when you do that on here especially. Because, you know, Humbercraft's laggy for obvious reasons.
I'm not gonna put those on there for shit. You know what, we're making the progress on this. We only got uh, a little bit more to go on it, probably. Fuck, can you please just, like, not? I'm being, like, attacked by, like, 20 gazillion knots. Not knights. Nats. Nats. Why am I having so much trouble saying that? Uh, let me swap here. This will see once it turns to not again. Also, the spawn egg idea is a really fun idea. Uh, is a really good idea for a spawn thing, a spawn build. Uh, I think uh, it's time for oak buttons now. Yep. Because I'm commentating like Bob Ross or something like that. Like, oh, nice little trees. Happy little trees. Except instead of happy little trees, it's happy little buttons everywhere. Okay, gotta figure out what's a slab and what's not a slab. Oh, that's not a slab? Oh, that's kind of weird. It makes that look like the slab and not that. It's an illusion. I got illusioned with... There's really not that many oak um, sections. Trying to remove all the torches and stuff like that too, because you know torches kind of uh, not the greatest, not the greatest decoration. Yeah, now that villagers just gonna be trapped inside that hill forever. Huh. Also, uh, I'm not gonna be really doing this kind of trick that much, even though I know that's there, the jack o' lantern or whetstone lamp. Glowstone, that kind of thing. Kind of good. Simply because, I don't know, I kind of like it when it's night, it gets dark. When it's daytime, it's light. I don't know. That's why itself is kind of a cool view. Yeah. Auction over. No more bits accepted. Why do you have a keeper head? Can you, like, steal me? Nope. Give me, give me back the armor stand, bud. Up, give me back the. Nope, I don't want to take pants. Give armor stand. You give me armor stand. Give. Wait, is this a. Oh, no, I'm inside it. Do I have that data pack on? Oh, yeah, I do. How do I get. How do I get myself to the thing? Slash trigger as help. Slash trigger as help. Oh. Okay. Check target. Oh, so the creeper's its own thing. There we go. Okay, I want the armor stand. Give me the armor stand. I'm gonna have to de pants them for some reason. Oh, there we go. And I gotta get rid of that armor stand. I'm putting on the pants. Okay. Check target. What is this? How do I get rid of this? Ah. No, 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 no. Wait, so, what is this? Like, is this like an actual, like, thing? Ah, okay, does it have a hitbox? No, and it has a hitbox, 
check target. Well, that's not going to help anything. Not as long as I don't have a pull. Okay. Pull the drift. Nothing happened. Just way too much warp to go across it and stuff. Okay, so now I know there's a baby armor stand right here. Can I please select the baby armor stand? Nope. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna leave it there. That's gonna hurt me. Probably. This uh, sugar cane. This is how we do it. There we go. Just gonna close up some of this. because I played a little bit of modded earlier today and have met many of my players. <laughs> so helpful. It's definitely helpful. I'm gonna patch up this hole. This is the majority of how these episodes are going to go. It's just me placing a bunch of blocks like this, terraforming. Man, is it, why is it not bothering me so much? I feel like I should call this episode like Minecraft episode 1, the not minus. 1600 Craft Episode 1, The Nat Menace. <laughs> Hermit Craft Episode 2, Attack of the Nat. <laughs> Stop it, bug! This bug is like trying to, trying to be a man. So a smart person would, a smart person would just use the fail command. Unfortunately, I'm not a smart person. I don't know, I, I know how the fail command works, I just don't want to take the time to get all the coordinates. Uh, I'm only on 1.17, too, I'm not on 1.19, I can't just enchant my pants with swift snake. That makes it so much better. That's a good enchantment. That's a good idea for me to do that. Those unintentionally made legs. It kind of looks like an Among Us character if you look at it the wrong way. Like this is like the bottom of the lens, and it's kind of like, like that kind of area just doesn't exist. Like it's just the bottom part of an Among Us character. I kind of want to leave it like that <laughs> because it's kind of funny. Uh, 
not sure I'll do it like that. That's the bat pack right there. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think uh, I need to expand. So here's what I need to do. Maybe next episode. Maybe this episode. How long have I been recording? Uh, 20 minutes. Um, I have, I'll do a little bit more. I need to, I need to expand this one off into, uh, Wells' area. That category over there. Um, I need to get rid of that and that. Just generally just clean up the area. Fix up this creeper hole. That works. Kind of. That'd be okay if I, like, did that cat or something. That's a stone cat. I just broke it. Which way does this one go? Oh. Does this one even do anything? Oh, it's supposed to... Oh, this one's supposed to fire swiftness arrows. Okay. To speed up horses, strong pressure plate. Okay, and now oh. this but oh my goodness what is going on down here I'm not gonna touch that redstone I'm just gonna okay sure I just want to power this dispenser how hard is it to power one dispenser do that do that that will power a redstone line this one here into this block with a redstone torch why do I have caps like them? Redstone torch. Now I've got to reverse that, meaning it's got to go further down in order to come back up. It just bounced off me. Oh, neat. Might be because my computer was messed. Okay. Let me do this. There we go. Will that work? It'll take a little bit for it to get there, but like... No, it doesn't power it. Oh! This is harder than I thought. Um, hmm. I have an idea. Oh, cause now, now that's powering that. Uh, this is hard. I have an idea though. I, ha I think I have an idea. Oop. Do that. Okay. Make sure that doesn't connect. And then, why didn't that work? I need to not have a redstone torch there. So a redstone torch there, that powers that. <sighs> why is redstone so confusing? Um, wait, if I hook it up to that, would that work? It does turn it on. Okay. Okay, now I just hook these up, right? Okay, so now it should work. I know I can work with that one to land. Oh, not all the way over here. Okay, so now will this work? It does. 
I did redstone. I brought this uh, up. Use my arrows. This work. That's all. What's this hopper about? This is pain. Mm. Huh. Just gonna hide that under there. Is that kind of a diamond? If we do that, okay, I'm just gonna leave that stuff there. I'm not even gonna test if it works. Um, I feel like I should put a birch door here. I feel like a birch door. <laughs> no problem as we know. Twenty gazillions. I'm gonna be wanting to specifically this house. Why do we change? Put on a uh, uh, false worker. Can you please stop moaning? Statues look pretty good. A stick guard. I feel like the statues book is worth more than the 64 emeralds. Let's just be real here. Because the statues book, you have to craft a book or obtain a book in some way. Then again, you can just find a book shelf and just type if you. But then again, you have to get. You know, the question is what is worth more? A statues book or 64 emeralds? 64 emeralds, you can like, if you do it the whole villager thing, you can just get one piece of paper and then it's exchange that for 64 for like a bunch. You get like one emerald per paper if you zombify them enough. So like, but, that, but then you have to go through the whole process of zombifying them. So what is worth more, a statue's book? I mean a statue's book like in itself is a data pack. So, I feel like I should, like, give it credit that it's not even normal Minecraft. You have to do a data pack in order to get it in. So I feel like it is better than Emeralds because this one isn't even in normal, like, Minecraft. Why am I thinking so much into this? Good question. I need to talk to anybody from the efficiency. Is there anything else that I really need to do in here? No. Damage shells. Nah, that makes sense. So, the damage shells. What else can I place here? Okay. What in here should I replace with a stack of ender shells? Because I feel like in a whoopsie box, you need a stack of ender shells. Eh. No, there's an ender chest and there's an ATM right there. There's an ender chest in the ATM. <laughs> Within the inner chest is the inner chest sector. Whoopsie. Didn't fit it. I want normal glass, not three stacks for diamond glass. Ah! 
Was wird. Yes, I got it, I got it. Armor of maps and stuff. Hmm. Members not so. So textures not sold out for mending. That makes no sense. Where was the burning coal? Oh, what? No, I didn't want me to break that. Tur. Furnace and fill it with blocks of coal because blocks of coal are better. Because you get 10 coals in one block, even though you only need 9 to craft it. So it's a better deal, if you but you need a stupid amount of coal in order for it to actually have enough to uh, you know, use it. Nobody's gonna notice the difference. Um, is there really anything else I want to do right now? I think I'm just gonna end it here. I made progress on this. We stopped stuff. Actually, made this redstone work. It's not really that noticeable of a difference, except for the egg. The egg comes, uh, picks up the torches in. The area is definitely improving, but just very slowly. Is it to the screen shot again? I say a screen shot, but it's a thumbnail. Oh, it's F2, not F11. What was F11? There we go. How does this look? Oh, I don't know. I need that to hang my inventory off. Now, now how's it look? There we go. That looks like a nice image. This is my thumbnail process in a nutshell.